Hammer Smash, Roll 3.7 FM, CFBU. This is Hammer Smash, Joey. And it's Metal Mike. And I feel a little bit rusty right now because it seems like it's so long ago that we were in the studio bringing you a live show. That's right. We weren't here live uh, last week. We were at WrestleMania in New Orleans watching The Undertaker squash John Cena, <laughs> watching Brock Lesnar pull off the upset of the century, and uh, Ronda Rousey. Those are the three off the top of my head that stuck out. Yeah, it was a good WrestleMania though. We're coming, I, we're coming fresh off that the I really WrestleMania show. It. I know um, it's kind of been, I guess, a full week now since WrestleMania. And uh, let's briefly touch on it. I suppose, like right off the bat, let's just do it now so we don't wait just get it over with. Yeah. yeah. What was your um, your favorite matches of that show? Favorite match of that show was uh, definitely the Ronda Rousey match. Stuck in my head so much because her performance in the ring. Blew me away. Yeah, she did yeah, a I really good job. I got to agree that that entire th- the whole construction of it was awesome. She picked Triple H up pretty damn well. Yeah, and she held him up there for a long time. A grown freaking man. A grown man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Really cool to see uh, what she's going to do in the future with WWE. So I, I, I really that. enjoyed that. The match. other match that stuck out to me, I think, more than anything else on the entire show, was Oscar versus Charlotte. That was a good match. That match, they were Very hitting good match. each other hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were hitting each other hard, and that uh, that figure four lock, when she put it in and made it the figure eight, mm-hmm. she had it in there locked in for a, a good while. You know, And well, she said, Asuka sold it really well. I think uh, you could tell those two, watching those two go at it, that they were, like, those are the two that are the most hungry in that business right now. You could tell just by the amount of emotion they put in that. Mm-hmm. How hard they worked. They busted their asses, man. Yeah, they definitely did. They had welts on them by the end of that. It was brutal. And especially, too, Asuka, too. The way she's a hard hitter. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, Charlotte, she's a strong girl. Seeing those two uh, together was a was a good match. So, And plus, next year, uh, they say they might have the first women's uh, championship match main eventing WWE uh, WrestleMania. You so know, maybe the... I don't want them to it. force that. I do. I would like that to, to happen. But I want it to happen almost naturally, not because it's the first woman's main event. I think it would just... The main event either has to either involve the championship, which it probably will, but also a storyline that is worth being the main event. You know what I mean? Um, I think... Because you could just have a title match for the sake of a title match and put it as the main event because it's two women. But will that generate the most interest or would the most interest be a very just a ruthless storyline leading up to that that makes people want that to be the main event? That's what it should happen, but let's put it, uh, be honest, WWE is probably going to screw it up. It's going to be a hashtag. And match. nothing uh, is going to happen. the first ever woman's main event WrestleMania. Or, or, or just one happens. You know what I mean? Something last minute will get screwed up. That's uh, that's how they. That's how wrestling works. <laughs> yeah. You know, we love it and we hate it. But yeah. that's it for wrestling today because we yeah. we did a whole show on yeah. it last week. It's not even. We're not even going to touch on that today. We still got lots of other stuff going on. Mm-hmm. And uh, the main thing we got to be talking about is metal. Lots of shows coming up. You know, the summer and spring months are uh, right upon us. Although the weather definitely would disagree with us no, the right now. Today. Jesus Christ! My car was frozen sucks. to the road today. When I went to get out of or get into it and drive away, it took me like ten minutes. Oh, it took me a solid while to like uh, defrost my windshield yesterday. That after uh, getting off of work last night, you know, and it's sitting outside all day for hours. Oh, it's the worst. Oh, you were in Dover for the weekend. I was. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. You have any stories? Yeah, I, I got some. Uh, I got some stories. I could share that later on. Uh, talk about. Uh, Seen a bunch of cool bikes up at Port Dover at uh, Friday the Thirteenth, so I could talk about that. And also uh, the, the show, show as that well. You went to, yeah. Yep, there was the show at the Geekery. Uh, I'm going to play some bands uh, that I saw as well. Electric Dead, uh, Bloodless Child, Decipher the Pale played there. Sinners of the Fallen. We'll give a whole uh, rundown of the show later on. And uh, the usual shenanigans. Maybe mm-hmm. we should find out what Corey Taylor's thinking today. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> Is he even alive anymore? <laughs> What's he doing these days? Ugh, thinking about Ozzy. He's touring <laughs> without Ozzy in September. Yeah, that's coming up. He's yeah, gotta get in shape. He's probably that's all. That, that's all I'd be thinking about if I was him. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's for sure. Well, let's start some off. Uh, let's start things off with some music here. Let's get going. I want to play. I got a doom band. I want to play here, and I mean a doom band. Ooh, a doom band. Mm-hmm. This band is called uh, Sullen Guest. We're gonna have a song called Al. I don't actually know how to pronounce that. Al Quadafa, Quarafa. I don't know. What we're gonna hear it right here. On Before Hammer. you play it, actually. Oh. When I, when I looked them up, actually, I haven't got to listen to them yet because I'm waiting for today. Are they a funeral doom band? They might be. Their artwork looks very funeral doom. I believe they were. They were? Okay, well, let's dive into this and hear it for ourselves. 
All right, here is Solon Guest on Hammer Smash 103.7 FM. And there you have it. There's some Christ Air. That's the name of the band. The song is called Cause of Death, just off their new EP entitled Christ Air. They're coming out of Vancouver. They call themselves Skate Crossover. Skate crossover. It does sound very punky and thrashy. Right. So oh, you can yeah. see a little bit of a uh, skate influence there with the punk vibe I going think on. They said something about like rewriting uh, the theme of skating or something like that. I don't know. But I dig it, man. And right before that, we had some doom, some funeral doom by a band called Sullen Guest. The song, I believe, is called Al Quarafa. And uh, that was doomy heavy. Right. Yeah, some good funeral doom. Again, we always come back to funeral doom. We, we have a little bit tough time mm-hmm. getting into some funeral doom. And uh, and you know what the big difference is? It's the whole, uh, really, the gothic sound. You know what? You're right. It is that gothic sound that really um, that, draws that, that line between like what we appreciate in Funeral Doom and what we don't appreciate in Funeral Doom. And there there, there can be good gothic sounds, I yes. think. there I think there can be when it's really dark and evil and st- sets a really good atmosphere. But sometimes it takes you to like a very sad and depressing route, mm-hmm. which is the route we don't really like to go down as much. It and makes uh, you want to like, like you, you know South Park, right? You know the goth kids in South Park. Yeah, that's the only thing I think about when I think of like <laughs> yeah. gothic doom. <laughs> really, really long cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah no, stay away from that type of goth. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The, that was good. That's good stuff. That's good. Stuff. <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep things going. In uh, another new direction, because we had that Doom, then we had that skate crossover. I'm going to keep things going in a different direction. Let's get a little bit of dad rock going on here. Here at Hammer Smash, we love dad rock. Wow, what a, what a change right there. From <laughs> Doom to dad rock. I like that. We do love dad rock, though. Um, and speaking of dad rock, I recently just picked up from the record store down the road here. I can't recall what the name is. Is it just uh, St. Paul Street what, Records or can't remember the name of it, but it's here on St. Paul Street in St. Catharines, and um, they got hidden gems, man, and I went in there a, f- a few months back, and I saw a Thor record. Oh, yeah, you and, bought that. And I find it's been <laughs> on my mind. Joe, I went there, and I was like, he's like, hey, can I help you? And I was like, yes. <laughs> yes, you mu- can help me. A months ago, you had a Thor record here, <laughs> and it was um, uh, what dogs. It was dogs. Keep the dogs keep at the bay, d- or yeah, keep yeah. the dogs away or something. And I was like, look, I'm here for the Thor record. And it wasn't on the wall anymore, and I was a little worried, Joe. Mm-hmm. And um, he's he got up, and he started looking through the things, and he's like, oh, you know, so I might have sold, man. I might have sold. But he, he carried on, and he kept looking. He kept he looking, looking, eh? And he found it, and I bought it. Oh, man. nice. Now nice. I got a Thor record on vinyl. <laughs> That's wicked. It's awesome. That is, I mean, did you give it a <laughs> give it a full spin? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, you know, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The old spin and flip. <laughs> so we're going to keep things in that dad form. Another dad or dad rock Canadian band that I found. And uh, this one, I can't find any information about them. I found the record online, but I can't find any information from where he's from. But uh, the band. <laughs> he's got to be buddies with Thor. Yeah, it has to be. <laughs> Him and I Frank Soda. <laughs> the band's name. <laughs> they go bowling together every Friday. <laughs> I already love the band name. Dr. Rock. <laughs> Dr. Rock. <laughs> it's so amazing. It's just Dr. Rock. Dr. Rock and the Wild Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Rocco. Yeah, Dr. Rocco. <laughs> and uh, the song is called Eye of the Hurricane. Oh, that's great. Right, play this. Only a dad would come up with that name. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, get on your flip flops. Get your clippers out. Get your barbecue turned on. Get a new propane tank for the barbecue if yours is low. (laughs) Go yell at your son for turning up the thermostat. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And make sure you wear your seatbelts because we're in the middle of a hurricane right now. Some might say we're in the eye of the hurricane. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, this is great. Dr. Rock. I'm excited. I haven't heard this one, so I'm excited. We're going to hear it on Hammer Smashed, 103.7 FM. What's the song called, by the way? Eye of the Hurricane. Eye of the Hurricane. We've been choking so much about it. (laughs) Oh, I can't wait. Here we go. Hammer Smash 103.7. You're listening to Hammer Smash 103.7 FM CFBU. Hammer Smash Radio. Hammer Smash Joey over here. Metal Mike. Or you can call me Papa Mike now. Officially Papa with that, Mike. With that dad song. Father Mike. <laughs> wow. I blew Joe's mind. My, my night is... <laughs> wow. It's so much better. My whole week is so much better. 
after hearing that song. I just made a post right now on the Facebook page um, where you can listen live to the uh, Facebook link. And I said in the post, you know, if you tune in right now, <laughs> you might just catch the 80s gem Metal Mike found. But uh, if you just tuned in right now, you missed it. Yeah, you have, <laughs> But you have to take it upon yourself to look up that song. By well, I, I actually posted the song okay. title and band in that post. <laughs> so, uh, you know, like I said, if you just tuned in now and you know, well, what, you know, what's uh, Hammer Smash Joey raging about? Why is he so excited? Well, go see the post. Go look up that uh, band and song. And do yourself a favor. Yeah, go see your and, doctor. Yeah, go <laughs> see your doctor. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. There's, I'm blown there, away, man. That was so Dr. good. Feel Good. There's your rock and roll doctor. Dr. Roxo. Dr. Roxo. But this is just Dr. Rock. Dr. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe, like, Dr. Rock is the more, um, he's the little bit more, like, clean cut Dr. Roxo. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's the rock and roll doctor, but he's a little more clean cut. Before you know. he started binging out. Yeah, he didn't do that much coke. It's no, you know no, before no. he was like more, uh, you know, a little yeah. bit. He's got like a little a, bit easy. He's got a family. Yeah, he's got a family yeah. now. Yeah, and then son at home. That's got when Doctor Roxo started going off the rails after. But before that, <laughs> Doctor Rock. <laughs> <laughs> what a, and that that hook. The hook was good. <laughs> oh, that was, that was great. But, uh, you know, enough of that song. Go look it up on your own because mm-hmm. we could do a whole show talking about how great that was. <laughs> Let's play the whole record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, really. Uh, really great stuff. Um, we got to play some more metal, though, for you. Oh, yeah. Get some more metal going on. And um, you know what? Uh, talk about uh, coming up and after a few songs. Let's talk about what I uh, went through on Friday, Friday the 13th. Yes, absolutely. Went down to Dover. Mm-hmm. It was really fun. I had a lot of fun time, actually. Uh, I went up solo. And I uh, had to take up, do the Thunder Run, and it's uh, had to lead like a bunch of bikers all the way to Dover. Whoa! And I was doing it solo. Can you tell us about that coming up after a couple? Yeah, of songs? I'll talk about uh, I'll talk about um, you know actual Dover, how it went, and how my actual day went, and a bunch of cool stuff that went down. Nice. Uh, you know, on my way though, on my way there, it was pretty cool. I was in the the biker mood. I was in the uh, southern stoner doom mood, so I was listening to a bunch of biker music on my way there. Corrosion of conformity, oh, you know, yeah. stuff like that. I uh, came across a band, Alabama Thunder Pussy. Whoa. <laughs> These guys oh, are awesome. What a name. What a name. I know, right? <laughs> awesome name. Uh, you know, that style of music, just that southern style of Dirty, heavy, bluesy rock and roll. So I want to play some of uh, Alabama Thunder Pussy for you right now. They're off of their album River City Revival. Going to play you the song Heavyweight on Hammer Smashed, 103.7 FM. Here's Alabama Thunder Pussy. Hey, turn it up. You're listening to Hammer Smash Radio, 103.7 FM, CFBU. Are you or are you not listening to Hammer Smash? Well, if you say so, Mike, I'll, I'll turn it up. If you insist on turning it up, I will turn it up for you. We just uh, went through a commercial telling you it's not Hammer Smash Radio, and then we had one saying it is Hammer Smash Radio. Are we here <laughs> or are we not? Yeah, here? are we? Is this is this the commercial? Or is this actually us? Is this the commercial <laughs> or is this actually us? <laughs> Out in a landslide? Oh God! <laughs> this queen. No, no, this is us. We're here. We're live, live every Sunday. Except last Sunday. Yeah, last Sunday we weren't, but yeah. we still had the show for you. <laughs> I had the show for you, the, uh, the Metal uh, Show. You know what? Metal Mike and I were uh, talking about oh, yeah. the uh, putting the podcast up from last week, and uh, they're probably not going to, because uh, it's kind of irrelevant now, because that whole show was just a WrestleMania like prediction show of what was going to happen through the fights, so you could listen to you know, you know the radio show and then watch the fights at the same time, Yeah, and uh, that's over, so... It's like, You're not going to go back in the podcast and go yeah. go on the network and, and watch the you really want to hear it, you could per- send us a personal message, and I'll just send you the raw files. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. No, we do have that. Thing but, um, <laughs> yeah, no, we got some uh, some uh, some more uh, music to play for you and some uh, more podcasts coming your way of tonight. Mm-hmm. And we'll play that later on uh, in the week. So we, you, you will have a podcast coming your way. And you know what? We're going to get another contest going as well this week. Because uh, we got some more band merch and a CD to give away for you. We'll keep this one a, a little bit of a surprise. A C D or A C D C? Ah, no, it's a CD. No, it's a CD. A C D C C D. But I uh, don't. You know, keep this one a little bit of a surprise. Keep you on your toes. But you will be getting a shirt from said band and album from said band 
And uh, we'll keep that later on. Keep you posted later on in the week of how you can win that. But, um, you know, moving on to things that happened in the past. Metal Mike had a pretty cool Friday night. I did. I had a pretty cool Friday day and night. Went, uh, went out to Port Dover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, went out to Port Dover to go see all the bikers. Pretty good fun time. Uh, it was really loud. It felt like being at uh, a metal show because it was a lot of leather. This is how I explained the the day. It's like Canal Days, right. but with a lot more leather. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what uh, Dover's like. A lot of bikes, a lot of cool bikes I got to see. Um, a lot of really cool custom type of bikes. I saw like some cool dogs in the bikes, Whoa. like sitting on the bikes. Like, like side cars. Like oh no, like the dogs, like they're in the cars, the, oh. and, and it, like the side cars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in there, and then the dogs were some were sitting on. That was my favorite part, looking at all the dogs. Um, I did run into a, a fellow, though, who apparently is quite popular in th- that uh, area near Port Dover. His name is Thong Man. Thong Man. Yeah, yeah. He goes to uh, a lot of events and dressed in just a thong. And there was police everywhere. But this man was just walking around in a thong. <laughs> just everywhere. Like, I'm talking like an old, droopy 70-year-old Ooh, well, man. That's not what I was In a thong. Either. Yeah, no, 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 oh. no. Huh. Yeah, it was, um, I was, I was like a little scary. Party boy from like Jackass or something. No, not a fella like. Well, same type of thong, but mm. not a fella like Pontius. That's for mm. sure. A little bit uh, scarred. My brain got a little bit scarred from uh, <laughs> looking at that. But uh, other than that, it was a pretty fun time. The rain held off. There was no, um, you know, no rain going on to ruin the day. What kind of events did they have there? Like, did they have any events or? A lot of like bike giveaways type of stuff, like balloting off a lot of stuffed uh, prizes, a lot of food. Um, but honestly, man, like I said, it's like Canal Days, but with a lot more leather. <laughs> it really is. Like if you've been to Canal Days, it's that type of same thing. Um, the big outdoor festival outside. There's some bands playing. There's tents, beer tents, and foods ev- food everywhere. It's a good time. Um, the one in the summer, I think it's July 13th is the next one. So, uh, yeah, maybe that'll be a fun one. Come make it out to that. Hopefully next year I have a bike by then, though. Yeah, I would like to partake eventually. I, I've yet to actually experience a Dover Friday the 13th. I do have the ability to camp out there. I know a guy who owns a trailer, but, you know, things happen. Things come up. Yeah. I haven't been able to go yet. Yeah, that's how it goes. Hey, you got any, uh, speaking of which, do you have any uh, any races coming up? I know this is the, this is the time races. you usually, usually have races or... Uh... Uh, no, not yet. I'm thinking about doing a derby in the Yeah, future. derby. That's what I was going to say. But, uh... We'll we'll see how the we'll see how the summer plays. The thing is, is that Derby season is in the fall, and racing season happens during the summer. So I'm torn on which one I want to participate in. I'm only going to choose one of them. I'm not going to do both. I don't yeah, have, it's tough in your car. Well, I don't have that kind of money. Either. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that sounds pretty cool. Well, yeah. when you do that, it's a lot. It's pretty metal. I gotta oh, say, oh, it's definitely, it is. definitely is really really metal when uh, what you're driving in. But yeah, there was my uh, day on Friday during the day, and then after that. Went to the Geekery Show, mm-hmm. which I'll talk about later on in the show. Give you a little bit of a rundown of the Geekery. We'll play some of the bands yep. for you that were at the Geekery. Uh, but right now, let's kick it back into some metal. We'll get you going right now. And uh, let's go to Canada. Let's do that metal, Mike. We've got a lot of Canadian metal bands. Um, when you sent me your Canadian metal bands today, I was pretty excited because um, <laughs> there was no death metal. And I'm yeah. like, that's great because I got you covered. <laughs> I got you covered See, with death metal. You told me earlier, I think early in the week, that you discovered a lot of Canadian death metal. And I was like, okay, I'll uh, I'll hang off that a little bit because I don't want the whole show to be. Yeah, no, a good call. Keep you a little bit uh, on your toes, a little bit of curveballs going on. And I got you covered with death metal. But this first death metal tune I want to play for you is the curveball of all the death metal tunes. And I just, I, I got to get it off my chest because I'm, uh, it just came out this past Friday. The EP is called Solace by the uh, debut band called Ycan. Now, this band, a little, I hope I said that right, by the way, W Y K A N, Ycan. Anyway, uh, but with this band blowing me away so much is because they mixed stoner doom, psychedelic blues style with death metal, which I've never heard. Yeah, I've heard death doom and stuff, but I've never heard stoner doom and death metal together. That's interesting. Yeah, it really blew my mind away. Uh, there's also guest vocals from the singer from Cryptopsy doing some death metal vocals in this um, in this song as well. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a little bit more of a rundown later on. But right now, let's kick right into this. Because I am excited to get it going on. It just came, EP just came out on Friday the 13th. It's called Solace by the band Ycan. And the song is called Lapon Almost. It's on Hammer Smash 103.7 FM. <laughs> Go, 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 go
Yeah, don't you love that when it's just something really brutal? It's so and good. then one of those kick in. I love it. Like the, uh, I like the, uh, the fire escape one that we played earlier, the fire <laughs> safety one. What was, what was his name? It just ended with, name? like, the song ended with, Wah! and then it's he like, came with, hi, I'm Ron something. <laughs> uh, that was great. Fire but safety is important. Fire safety though. is no very joke. important, though. Don't joke about that yeah. stuff. It's very serious. We, like, we can joke about it. Yeah, we can. We're, we're on air. But uh, you got to, you know what? You know what? Actually, when the next song's on, go and check your smoke detector. Yes. Right now. Yep. Go make sure. We'll keep listening to us, but... Check your smoke detector. You ever, uh, <laughs> Make sure it's working. <laughs> Speaking of smoke detectors, you ever watch any episodes of Nathan For You? I have not. He, oh, so. <laughs> if you haven't seen his show, basically what he does, he tries to give bad businesses advice. And uh, there's one business, they like, they're a fire, they sell uh, uh, fire detectors, smoke alarms, and they're having a hard time sending it across the uh, to other countries because of the tar- large tariff. So what Nathan For You does, Nathan Fielder, Canadian guy, he tries to... Um, he discovers that if you send instruments over the like uh, over to other countries, there's no tariff on instruments. So um, he tries to convince them that the fire detector could be used as an instrument, <laughs> and they're like, "No, no, no, it'll never work. It'll never work." Like, who would use that? And he goes far <laughs> enough, bro. He goes far enough, he, and he creates a band. And this is all real. Like, it's like 100% real. He creates this band. He finds a band. He hires a bunch of people. And he tells the guitar player to put down the guitar. <laughs> and use a smoke detector because it beeps, right? There's like yeah, yeah, beep. yeah. And they write a song, and you can find it. It's on Spotify. Um, I think the band is called. I think they named themselves the Bonsai Experiment or something like that. Really? <laughs> and, wow. And I think the, what was the song? The song is called um, like or- Orphan Something, and it's it's so funny. And you can and that's the to smoke it. alarm song. <laughs> every like every like nine seconds, there's like a beep. That's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Maybe I have to find that later on. Dude, it's <laughs> hilarious. I gotta check that out. <laughs> oh wow! Well, we got another hour to go. Oh, More yeah. metal coming up for you. Uh, we just heard some new metal uh, right off the bat. We're uh, coming off of some Accursed Spawn and their uh, latest single called uh, Bopal '84. We have a new vocalist now, uh, and uh, the lineup is getting heavier. It's getting stronger. It's getting brutal. So uh, good things to come for Accursed Spawn. Um, that's the drummer, by the way. Is that's the other Hammer Smash Radio? No way. Yeah, yeah. Hey yeah. guys, isn't that great? How's it going? <laughs> hey, isn't that great? Stole your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've been doing it a lot longer. They've been doing. They've been. Uh, they've been around for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good guys, though. Good, uh, good dudes. I when I met them, I was afraid that uh, we we're after we we're gonna have to fight right there. Like, all right, here we go. We're gonna have to have the battle royal. Who gets the name? You know, solid dudes and. Uh, it, all the dudes in Curse Bond, great, great dudes, and good band. Really brutal. Check it out. Uh, right before that, Metal Mike, what'd you think of Wiccan or Wiken or Viking? Whatever, however they're pronounced. However they're know. pronounced, I don't but, uh, care. But they're awesome. I, could, I dig. I it. like that man. That was you. You brought up a good point. It's like a mixture of like stoner rock, blues, like death metal. I don't know. It was. It, yeah, it's, it, it, it does. It's got a big mix, something I've never heard before, and uh, it's uh, all mainly because of this uh, fella, Jeremy Perkins, who was a, they're a Montreal-based band, and Jeremy, he was in um, black metal bands for three years before this, working on all dark and heavy music, and he was just saying in an interview that uh, you know, he wanted to go back to you know stuff that he loved, blues and, and uh, rock and psychedelic stuff like that, and just found the right guys to do that, and he also still loves the the, the extreme stuff. So I just figured a way to uh, incorporate both of those together, which I admire because I, I myself, as a fan of the Doom and Blues stuff and the extreme stuff, it's cool to see someone puzzle piece those yeah, together. In a way that actually works. That yeah. just sound like yeah, incoherencies. It did. It did really work the way it blended from the Doom part, like the very stonery part, mm-hmm. and then it slowly started fading into death metal. And what was cool is that like it's not like... The, the the song is one you know one sound like you can clearly isolate the parts of the song that were the stoner and the parts of the song that 100%, were like the death yeah. metal yeah you know like, there's I mean? no way you're listening to that and be like where is the stoner yeah. where's the death like it, th- no they're right there hit his in your influences your face. and you know you heard it yeah oh yeah totally and uh, yeah no I dug it uh, maybe hopefully I'd actually like to talk to this fella see if we can get a, a Hammer Smash Radio interview for you I'd love to talk more to him and. Uh, See where how we p- 
pieced that together, get more in-depth on that. But we'll keep you in touch about that later on. Uh, we still got some more Canadian metal to, to shove down your throats in this next hour. Mm-hmm. But uh, Metal Mike's got some tunes that he wants to show me. Well, I got one in particular, and it is a Canadian Canadian band here. The band is called, I believe it's pronounced Tenet. Um, or I'm not, I, don't, I kind of put a French accent on that, so maybe it's, I don't think they're French. Maybe it's just Tenet, probably. Like Tenet, like a... Uh, like the, about an apartment, you know? <laughs> no, like a not, tenant and, not a tenant. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's T E N E T, like Tenet. Oh, Tenet. I don't know. Oh, maybe. But, uh, anyways, <laughs> the song is called Crown of Thorns. And I want to play this. And I, I do enjoy the song. And I, I actually enjoy the entirely, like even the vocals. But I want you, Joe, to kind of, I want you to listen to the vocalist and give me your thoughts on how he sounds and what kind of sound it really is. Um, and what I'm trying to find a band that it kind of sounds similar to, but I can't find the right. Uh, well, right that's good. Band, I'm, I'm glad you said that already because I, you know me in both of us, we don't like be like comparing vocalists or bands or sounds to another person or another band. And it's cool to hear someone that's like, ah, he doesn't sound like anybody. He's he's got his own unique thing or her. She's got her own unique thing going on. And uh, yeah, I like that already. I'm already hooked. So, so uh, let's see. Let's dive into this. They're from Vancouver. Um, uh, let's see what's in store. Here's Tenet, Crown of Thorns, Hammer Smash 103.7 FM. Jesus. Wow. Your pants, uh, they brown or what? <laughs> oh, wow. That was some crazy stuff going on right there. Uh, that's the uh, APOC, their uh, newest EP, like fresh, fresh off the press, just came out. Awakening Inception, and that tune you just heard was Serenity of Non-Existence. And uh, yeah, APOC is just one of those bands from uh, Ontario that blows blows me away. You know, and you could definitely tell that because Joe and I were having a little bit of a conversation while the song was playing, and I kept losing my train of thought. The train of thought left the station a couple times. Yeah, during that totally. Song. Yeah, it, during it the, left during those bass those bass lines. Yeah, you tried to tell me something. You're just, whoa. <laughs> I just kept getting whoa. distracted, and I couldn't regather myself. It took me a minute. Yeah, you know, they, well, that was some, uh, that was cool stuff. I, I'm a fan of Apoc since I found their album, uh, Apocalypse. Mm-hmm. Really, we played some of their stuff on the show before, and uh, yeah, they just had a newest one, so uh, I jumped right on that and gave it to you hammerheads. There you go. And if you like that album, go give it, uh, go support the band as always, for sure. Go check them out. Go listen to some more Canadian death metal, which I have some more Canadian death metal to come later on in the show. But right now, we're going to talk about the bands that I saw at the Geekery. Yes. Give you a little bit of a Geekery rundown of what happened on Friday the 13th for that show, and we'll play some of the bands as well. But first, you're going to hang on for a commercial break. You're listening to Hammer Smash 103.7 FM CFBU. Hey, back to Hammer Smash Radio. Um, Quick thing I want to mention, uh, last band I talked about was APOC. And uh, if you want to go see those guys live, you can also see them in uh, Toronto on Friday, April 20th, 420. And uh, get nice and toasty. Go see some technical death metal. It's going to be a good show at the Hard Luck, actually. Some stacked bands, Bloodshot Dawn, Vesperia, APOC, and Black Eve. Uh, that's going to be one hell of a show. So if you uh, got nothing doing going on on a Friday, got the day off work, Make a trip up to Toronto and go check out that imagine show. Taking, imagine asking your boss for that day off. Hey, uh, can I get? Uh, can, I, can I just get Friday off? <laughs> well, hmm. what's Friday? Oh, like uh, April twentieth. April twentieth. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. minute. No, you're not getting that day off. <laughs> yeah, hippie. Yeah, you <laughs> damn hippie. Get to work. Get to work. <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe uh, you're one of those people like you who work mornings. You have the Friday off, and you can go check it out. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, not me. I gotta work nights on Friday. Mm. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Tell, if if you go to that show, tell us about it. Let us know how that show went because that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be cool stuff. Get some pics, send it to us. Let us know. But uh, I got some pics of the show and a video that I will be posting on the Facebook uh, later on of the Geekery Show Friday the Thirteenth Geekery Show just happened uh, on Friday at mm-hmm. the Geekery. Uh, and it was a good show. Great stuff going on. Started out with Synergy of the Fallen right away, getting the crowd going. Hardcore Warrior banging his head. Getting everyone going, starting the show out with some energy, and uh, it was a good crowd. Good crowd went on. A lot of people uh, at the Geekery, and uh, other bands that we were playing was Electric Dead, who always brings it every time. 
Yeah, they go hard every single time. They do. Love seeing those guys play. Put on a good show as well. The the, uh, oh, the Cerebrus. What's it called? The the three headed dog. Yes. Did I say the name right? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Something Cere- like Cerebrus? that. Cerebrus. Cerebus. Cerebus. Something like that. Ah, therapist. But, yeah, therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was there. Looked cool. Uh, they also, Metal Mike, they played a new song, and I dug the hell out of it. Dug the hell out of it. It was a, it was like one of the, it had a rhythm that was stuck in my head for the uh, the whole night. I'm excited when uh, Electric Dead has some new stuff. I actually did. I had a chance to talk to them a little bit. They said they got a, like a bunch of songs ready, about 10 or 20. They're just going to, oh, wow. you know, fish through them, find out the ones that they like the most, and mm-hmm. uh, get that on the album going on. Uh, also, while I'm on Electric Dead... I bought some beard oil from Electric Ted. Oh, nice. Yeah. Metal Mike said hi to me today, and uh, they was sitting in my car. The first thing he calls is, is there incense in your car? It's, uh, yeah, yeah, it smelled like incense. No, it was my beard. Uh, I thought it was burning an incense while driving. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's a beard. It's some strong scents in this beard. Electric Dead Badass Blend, I believe it's called. Um, it's really good, 15 bucks. If you uh, see Electric Dead at any of their shows, pick up uh, pick up some of that beard oil. And if you, don't, if you can't grow a beard... There's somewhere a little bit down south you could put it too. That's right. That is right. You can totally do that. And um, <laughs> you know what was great too, Metal Mike? Uh, they got the debit machine set up, so I didn't need to use cash. Nice. Yeah, it was great. Used oh. up my cash at the bar, mm-hmm. and I go there. I'm like, oh, it's beard oil, but I got no cash. But they had the debit machine. That's interesting. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, something cool. Anyways, how was uh, the other bands there? Uh, it was good. Uh, we uh, other band we played on the show not, a couple weeks ago was Deciphering the Pale. Right. Yep. yep. Uh, they put on a good show. It was a good, uh, good stuff going on. Heavy, loud, really fun, really fun stuff going on. My buddy Shane, lead vocals of that band, was giving her. They're from he was uh, good. Fort Erie, am I right? Or Port Colborne? Yeah, Port Colborne. Port yeah, Colburn. yeah. Because I remember when we were writing that in the log a few weeks ago, we we're like Port Colborne. I think it's a first for us. And the first metal band ever from Port Colborne. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ever. Yeah, really. But uh, yeah, good job to those guys. A good show. And then the headliners was uh, Bloodless Child. And we saw them, Metal Mike. Uh, when did we see them? A few years ago? Couple, definitely, it's got to be three. Two years ago. Two, three years ago at, yeah. uh, with Belfagor and Belfagor. Cataclysm. Now, I, I want to talk about these guys for a little bit, actually. Because when we first saw them, they didn't have a bass player. Right. Right? And I thought that, like, they didn't have a bass player for that show. So I, I totally thought going into the show on Friday, like, oh, you know, they're definitely going to have one because, you know, that was three years ago, that show. They By now, they probably... Would have had a bass player, or that guy could have made the show if whatever, whatever the reasons are. But turns out they just don't have one. And uh, you know, I did a little bit more digging, talked to some of the guys, and I listened to their music, like uh, off the album. And, and you know what? It's kind of meant to have no bass player. It's just really friggin' raw and brutal, dirty death metal. And I think that's the point. Hmm. I really do think that's the point. And uh, it took. It, you know, took a good listen. I dig it. I, I still dig it. It's good death metal. Definitely good death metal. But uh, that's the point, I think. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe I'm completely wrong. And they're or maybe the bass player yeah. just couldn't make it again. Yeah, maybe he just <laughs> couldn't make it again, or maybe they just like don't care about bass. Who knows? And I'm completely wrong. But I don't know. That's the vibe that I got. Stripped away the bass, gives it a little bit more of a dirty, really brutal. You know, blood oozing out of the walls. They're uh, crusty, filthy death metal. Are they a two piece? Three piece, three piece. Okay. Yeah, got a little bit of a video uh, clip of them doing a, an instrumental song. Put that up on the uh, put that up on the Facebook later on. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put those guys on next. Put on some Bloodless Child, and uh, give you a little of a example of how like they're they got that dirty sound, and it's good production too. It's it's a good album. Go check it out on Bandcamp. A lot of music these guys have up on Bandcamp, but on Hammer Smash Radio, you're gonna hear some Bloodless Child right now. Starting out with a song called First to Feast. It's on Hammer Smashed, 103.7 FM. Bloodless Child. The Electric Dead on Hammer Smashed Radio. Mark I Bear. Love that tune. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great tune. A lot of stuff uh, going on in there. I like the death bell. And when it's like, when, when it's kicking into the chorus. Yes. For the Mark I Bear. And it kicks it, it, in with the, the bell, bell in there. Yeah. I like that. It's uh, Electric are Dead, man. They're great. You know what, man? Bells are underused. They really are more bad, and I don't mean like the like the ding ding do, ding do, 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 bells. But like I mean a freaking bell, a man. bell, hell's bell, hell's, hell's bell. Yeah, yeah. Like Undertaker, like the dong. Dude, um, it's funny you said that today, because uh, today I am um, getting out of the car and uh, 
Laura, she lives down by like uh, St. Pat's Church. Big old church has a mm. big old bell on it. It goes, oh, you yeah. know, and they go off at like noon and three. And we happen to be getting out of the car the time when the bell goes off. So we get out of the car, the bell goes twice, and then I go, da dun da dun da I was I was pretty happy with that. I'm and then she then she sung uh, Hell's Bells. Nice. But yeah. It was I think cool. um bells are it's it's sad that they're going away. I love bells, man. On top of the, you, you know, you see them at the top of the churches when you walk by, and every once in a while you hear them. And I used to hate it growing up. I'd be like, oh, these bells are so annoying. Mm-hmm. And I hate bells. Now I love them. You love them, eh? And they're so loud, especially <laughs> like um, in a city like St. Catharines. Nothing's great than like when things like start to get a little bit quiet. Down yeah, the when the church down over here on Church Street, when that goes off. That freaking bell. Goes yeah. Off. No, I like that. I've caught that a few times. I, uh, I dig that. But Metal Mike, you dig, uh, you dig bells. Uh, you know, I have a little inside information. I heard the band Various, their uh, new uh, EP that they're recording, they got some bells on there. Ooh, yeah, really? yeah, they do. Nice. That's what I heard. Where'd you get a bell from? <laughs> I don't know. I was, there was just this part where there's like this like kind of note just being rung on the piano just to add like extra mm-hmm. effect, and I'm like, we should put a bell there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, we should. And I was like, yeah. Bells so are cool. We man. got a bell in Ecto. Ecto Prospecto. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll be it'll be sweet. It'll be cool stuff. I'm looking forward to that. Oh yeah. Um okay. We got we got a little bit sidetracked. I want to go back to Electric Dead now. <laughs> <laughs> Where we just came off. We just heard this about Electric Dead. But uh you want to go see those guys live, you can go uh see them in Toronto at Duffy's Tavern uh on 420. That's April 20th. Uh, you can go see uh the doors and fours and the electric dead at Duffy's on uh, 420. So you got two shows going on in Toronto. Go to both. I'm pretty sure. I think I learned over this weekend that one of the guys in Doors and Fours is also a wrestler. I think his name is uh, uh, Ethan Greenaway, I believe his name is. A wrestler. I believe he's also a wrestler. And I was told that he has a wrestling match coming up in Hamilton. And I believe it was in May. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so I might uh, I might get more information yeah, on that. Yeah, you get a little bit more information let's, on let's that. know about that. Maybe get a greasy interview. Oh, that'd be yeah, nice. we need a, uh, another greasy interview soon. That's my new favorite segment. Another we have. interview with a wrestler and a, a musician at the same time. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. I'm yeah. getting two birds stoned at once, buddy. There you go. There you go. We gotta, <laughs> we're get some uh, more interviews going on, but uh, let's get some more death metal going on right now in the show. How much more time we got left? About twenty minutes About left 20 minutes. of metal for you. That's all right. So let's do this. Let's go to Calgary with his band called Widow's Peak. Some heavy stuff right here. Here's Headless on Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM. Hey, turn it up. You're listening to Hammer Smash Radio, 103.7 FM, CFBU. Hammer Smash, 103.7 FM, CFBU. It's Hammer Smash Joey over here. And it's Metal Mike. Metal Mike's over there. He's uh, queuing up some doom for you folks. Getting your hammerheads ready for some doom. He's got a band uh, called Fuzz Evil that... uh, I tried to get on like the past two couple teams because I know you've you've got these guys on before. You've sent me them before, mm-hmm. and uh, I haven't got to play them yet. And I'm really intrigued because that sounds like a cool name. Yeah, and uh, they're like a stoner doom band, and uh, they did a split with I believe it was Switchblade Jesus, which was one of the bands I got loaded up to play today too. <laughs> so that's a that's a weird old coincidence. Yeah, so uh, let's just let's just go for it. The song is called Graves and Cupids. And here's Fuzz Evil and Hammer Smash on a three point seven FM. Some Abominator on Hammer Smashed 103.7 FM. I like that band. I like that band a lot. I got this uh, CD of a band. That's how much I like them. Ordered it off Hell's Headbanger Records. That is the label these cats are off of. And Abominator mixing up some death metal, some black metal together. And um, they're coming out of Australia. Australia really has a lot of bands. Destructor, Destroyer 666, and Abominator. Uh, A lot of that... uh, Blackened, thrashing death metal with that kind of angel corpse, morbid angel mix in there as well, which uh, I quite enjoy from time to time, Metal Mike. Mm-hmm. And that time to time is a lot. Yeah. Like all the time and to time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. All the time, the time. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time uh, left in the show, Metal Mike, because we are, uh, we've come to the end. Yeah, it's that time. It's that time. Yeah, it's that time. We had a good show today, though. We played a lot of uh, mostly, actually, almost 100% underground metal. We did, yeah. We I think every single 
one of our songs we played was all underground, and the last song we're gonna end with is probably a more popular one. We'll get yeah, to that in a little bit. Be the only one. That'll be yeah, the last song <laughs> we're gonna play. It will be our only non underground song that you might uh, recognize. But uh, yeah, we got, we're almost done. We got about uh, ten minutes left to go. We'll play one more song for you and talk to you about some stuff coming up here in St. Catharines. What you could check out uh, this week. Mm-hmm. This Wednesday, everyone's raging about it. <laughs> Big stuff going on. All the fellas are going to be there. All the fellas. All the fellas. So what's and- happening basically is uh, just down the down the road here from where we are sitting right now, which is just behind St. Paul Street and St. Catharines, at the um, the white apartment building of rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that is good. I um, like it. So around the corner here, uh, a little building called the Showtime, and the Showtime is a comedy venue. And right now, the Showtime is running Niagara's Best Top Comic, and I think I believe it started two weeks ago, and uh, it's every it's been every Wednesday, and it's currently going on. But your main guy right here, Metal Mike, will be performing uh, this Wednesday at the Showtime, participating in that um, that their contest, and uh, we'll see how far I can make it into the uh, the thing. I guess there's. Eight people. How do you get judged on uh, who gets gonna, moved on? Like who gets the most laughs? Um, there is, there's going to be three judges. I guess they're judging you on originality, um, crowd like reactions, mm-hmm. and uh, just I guess personality. Oh yeah. Okay. And then uh, so each each person gets five minutes, and then um, oh and so two people will get chosen by the judges, and one person gets chosen by a fan draw. Like everyone writes down who their favorite was, and then that person moves mm-hmm. on as well. So, uh, you know, I'll be participating in that, and we'll see what happens. Am I prepared? Hard no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I got, like, kind of... Are couple. you... Uh, we got some bits. Are you going to do... Uh, we got the, you got the dentist bit. That's I, a good one. I'm, I'm doing all original got stuff. The, uh, so all, like... New all, stuff? All new stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it's tough, you know what I mean? Because, like, uh, a lot of my jokes are stories. I got stories, and uh, five minutes just isn't a long time, especially if um, you're trying to just... Get a bunch of laps out real quick, right? Cause yeah, got- yeah. It's tough to like kind of build it up with a story exactly. a little bit. Because when you do a story, you kind of have a little bit of silence for a little yes, bit because you're cause building you, it up. You got to paint the picture. Yeah, you got to paint it. Um, so a lot of guys, like when I went to that Showtime thing, I noticed a lot of people go with puns and little mm-hmm. quick things here and there type of stuff. Uh, that green fella, uh, David Green. David he, Green. He's the one who puts on the yeah, show. Yeah, he does. Great guy. He does. Um, there's a lot of those. Um, he's the those he's puns. the king of the pun. Man. Yeah, he's, but he's good. He's, he's good at it, man. He's, he's he does a good <laughs> oh, He's one. actually really. I'll good never at forget puns. this one that he said. And I use it like uh, I use it sometimes with people. It's uh, and I went to an Italian restaurant the other day, and I was a little bit upset. They uh, it was a little bit too much sauce on my pasta. So luckily, there was a police officer sitting next to me in the restaurant. And I went up to him and I had to get a restraining order. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's David Green for him. Yeah, uh, himself. See. You could see him probably opening up and hosting the show um, on these on these Wednesdays, and they, I believe they start at eight o'clock. And uh, just come out. You know what I mean? If you enjoy getting a little laugh, get off work, need to unwind, come see. Yeah, it's so. fun. You, you'll leave um, those. Th- like, I, like I said, I've gone before, and you'll leave with yeah. your face hurting a little bit up here. And yeah, right by the cheeks, yeah, smiling yeah. and it's stuff. A good, it's a good thing to uh, to experience and. Uh, no, get your mind off some stuff. Yeah, do some local stuff. Go check it out. And uh, we will... Uh, no local stuff uh, shows coming up this weekend, but like I said, there's some shows in Toronto that you got to check out on April 20th. Uh, go check out uh, Vesperia, Black Eve, uh, APOC, and Bloodshot Dawn. They will be at the Hard Luck in uh, 420 in Toronto. And then uh, Electric Dead in Doors and Fours will be at Duffy's. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough one to choose, but... You got a lot of options, so have fun mm-hmm. and get nice and toasty. Oh yeah, yeah. So I guess was- there's uh, there's one last thing we want to talk to you guys about uh, to uh, kind of end this show is a uh, new ghost. Yeah, new ghost. That's uh, the hottest thing off the press for uh, li- newest metal, and uh, it's it must be all new nameless schools. Yeah, right? everybody's new. They they got a new picture, and uh, one of them is a female. And you, it's because, I don't know, the mask has got long hair. What and if it isn't, though? It, I don't know. You Who don't knows? Know. You don't know. But you know how I know it's a female metal mic? You want to know why? Because I went in the comment section where I should not have gone. Oh, that's a bad idea. Because I got angry 
just ugh, reading some of these stupid people's comments. <laughs> they, oh, I can't believe they had to you know d- generalize a woman. I've and seen ghost, that. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. They had to sexualize. It's woman. got there's it, no sexuality. There's no sexuality at all. You can't no, see any skin. No, there's a full body suit. Oh, why? Because he's got curves. <laughs> Big deal. Like, sorry, she was born yeah, that way. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, she has. Whatever. But even though, again, with the comments, people, you know what else they're freaking out about? The new Papa. People don't like this new Papa. Same guy. Same guy, but they don't like the look. The new Papa should be uh, young and good looking and have the... Here's one that really got me pissed. Uh, Just really got my blood boiling. So this Papa, like like the past Papa they had, same guy, but... What changes is his personality. That's what yes. changes every album. So the last Papa, he was a li- he was this like kind of sexy nympho type of guy. Because when I saw him live stage, he was always talking about sex and doing stuff yeah, with yeah. chicks, sex and stuff for like Satan that. and stuff. Yeah, that type of stuff. So one of the comments, a lot of the comments were like, "Oh, this new ghost Papa's supposed to be all about love and sex and this. This guy looks like a pedophile because if you you know look at him, he's got a the weird mustache, mustache and, and stuff all like that. that. Yeah. And let me tell you something, Metal Mike. I like it. I yeah. think it's scary and creepy, Eerie, and that's what ghosts should be. Yeah, that's exactly what they should well, be. Well, and you know what? That's kind of what he said he was tr- going for. You know, in the next direction of the band. Yeah, a little bit. Like, creepy. This is like four months ago. He said this. Yeah, and he also said that it's going to be a little heavier too. Yeah, and uh, you know, got to, you know, you got to be a little bit heavier. And you know what? Maybe, maybe he thought that look he had was a little cheesy. Maybe he wanted to go with a little bit more realistic and look you know for who this the, album. Who the hell are people to say what? What he should look like. Damn it! It's his project. It is. It's totally him. It's it's. It, you can't it, tell. It's, it's exactly him. When you, the best one. I think you said this to me. I can't remember, but it was one of the best things. When you're in Bruce Springsteen's band, you work for Bruce. Yeah, you, you work, work for, Bruce. for. He's your boss. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same thing with Ghost. This this guy Tobias Forge, who's yeah. Papa. You're in his band. You're his boss. He's paying your. He, yeah. You know. He's you work giving for you the him. checks. You he's work for boss. him. Exactly. So uh, you know. Um, looking forward to see what they come out with. Uh, the, the newest album. Uh, if you saw the artwork, it's the art, pretty I like, cool. I like, like the artwork. I got to I gotta say, it's probably my favorite artwork of any uh, Ghost album that's came out so far. Oh, yeah. It's a really... Uh, well, the, inter- the album's, I think, going to be entitled Rats, right? The name of the single that was released. Yeah, the, the single's released. Is that what the album is called? No, no, it's not, actually. It's not. It's okay. not. It's called something else. Um, oh, boy. I don't remember off the top of my head. But it's something with a... Oh boy, I forget. But the song is called Rats. I do know that. And the album is uh it, it's hard to describe. It's got Papa sitting on this throne throne that's, that's on top of this on giant on top of like three monsters with a big mouth that's really scary looking with wings. Mm-hmm. It's really uh it's pretty neat. But yeah, we're going to play some Rats. We're going to end the show with that. Like we said, the whole show we had today was all of uh it was it was all underground stuff. And mostly Canadian underground. I think we only had like Let's see here. We got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five or some five or so songs that weren't Canadian. Wow, so, look at us, eh? Yeah. Oh, Canadian. Yeah, go check out the, the the Facebook after and go look at the uh, playlist too if you want to see uh, what songs we had and go check out and support the bands. Because yeah, all underground stuff we had today. Good music, good heavy stuff. A lot of curveballs going on. We're gonna end with the only mainstream or popular song we have with Ghost. Let us know what you think about it, though. Give us a shout. Uh, we always want to hear your feedback. Let you know what we, uh, we think. We're always telling you what we think. We want to know what you think. Mm-hmm. So uh, let us know. And, um, you know, what do you, what do you think, Metal Mike? You like this tune? I personally like it. I like yeah. the, uh, it, it reminds me, it kind of goes back to uh, hearing uh, Year Zero for me. It has a little bit of that Old school ghost like disco feel. It does, opinion. yeah. A little bit of that. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what got me into, in the ghost to begin with. As, yeah. as weird and corny as that sounds, you know, that's kind of what to me separated them from a lot of the other bands. It's a mix of that like ABBA sound with rock and roll. Yeah, kind of. And I feel like they kind of went back to this a little bit. And honestly, good riffs and the production is like on point. Yep. Uh, I'd say I could totally agree. I'd say the same thing. And then, but also, I think we both could agree. Nothing really like. Too mind blowing going on. No, like nothing. That's not sh- reshaping the wheel, but you know, it's a Though solid I do, tune. I do love the riff at the end of the song after that little electric keyboard part. I do like that electric keyboard part too. Uh, yeah, and then when the riff kicks in after that, that's uh, that's good. So enough of us talking about it. Hear it for yourself, and uh, go check out the Facebook after the, when the show's done. You can see the podcast, or sorry, the set list, and you can see the podcast 
later on in the week, along with our contest. So stay tuned to uh, Hammer Smashed all week. We may, may not be on air every day, but uh, we'll be there in the internet. You just got to look for us. You got to look for us. We'll be there. <laughs> so, uh, you know, until next week, thank you for tuning in. I'm Hammer Smash Joey. Metal Mike. And we're going to end it with some ghost. Here's Rats. And as always, may the metal be with you. And also with you. Rats.